As you can see, we have Lightmatica 0.17, which is the version for Minecraft 1.20.4. If you want to learn how to download and install this mod, you could play with the schematic so you could do everything you want to do using Lightmatica. Well, this is the right video for you, my friend. I'm going to teach you not only how to download and install Lightmatica, but also how to fix any issues you might have along the way, as well as how to get every other file that you need for Lightmatica to run without crashing. Once that's said, let's get started with the tutorial. The first step for downloading and installing Lightmatica is to click the second link in the description which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install this mod. This is a very short guide, very easy as well, on how to download and install this mod, but I'm assuming most of you want to follow along the video. In order to do so, all you have to do is scroll down and click where it says download Lightmatica. That will redirect you to the CurseForge page for Lightmatica. In here, you should be already in the Files section. If you're not, go ahead and click on Files, and you're going to look for the most recent version of Lightmatica, in this case, we're installing 1.20.4. If you're watching this video in the future and there might be a different version in here, go ahead and download that one. Once you found the version you want, go ahead and click on the little three dots right here and then click download file. But before we do so, I want you to pay attention to what it says here. As you can see, mod loader for Lightmatica is going to be fabric and there is no other option. Just keep that in mind because further in this video, this is an important piece of information. Go ahead and click download file. That right there over here, where in five seconds, the download for Lightmatica will start automatically. Now, if you read through the guide, well, in my case, it's asking me where to save the file. You guys shouldn't get this. You probably will get the files downloaded automatically. If you pay attention in the guide that we wrote or you read through the Lightmatica page, you will see that Lightmatica needs a mod library to be able to run. You read it in here or you could read it within the Lightmatica page. Lightmatica needs Malilip. This is the name of the library that it needs to run successfully on Fabric. We have a guide on how to download and install Malilib in case you have any issues while installing it. However, if you just want to follow along and download Malilib, all you have to do is click on the third link in the description, scroll down and click download Malilib. That will redirect over here where the process is pretty similar to what we just did. Go ahead and find the matching version for Malilib as of Lightmatica. Click on the little three dots and then click download file. Remember, if you're watching this in the future, and you are downloading Lightmatica 1.20.5, make sure your Malilib library matches that version. Once you have the file downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. And at this point, if you already have Fabric installed, or maybe you watched one of our videos in the past and you already have Fabric installed, all you have to do is drag and drop these files into your mod folder within your Fabric instance. However, if you're watching this video and you don't have Fabric mod loader installed, I'm gonna teach you how to download and install Fabric mod loader because you will need a mod loader in order to load these mods into the game. All you have to do is click on that fourth link in the description and I'll bring you over here to our guide on how to download and install the Fabric mod loader. You can read through the guide and look at the screenshots, but if you just want to follow along, go ahead and click on this big button in here. It's, it's very big. Go ahead and click on it. That will redirect you over here where you're going to click download universal jar right here before uh, below download for Windows. Click download universal jar and that will start the download automatically. In my case, it's asking me where to save it for you. It's going to download right away. And then once you have the installer, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. If you're using Chrome, you can find it here in the top right. If you're using any other browser, you probably find this somewhere else or within your downloads folder in your computer. Now that we have these three files, we could pretty much just start with the process of installing Lightmatica or adding Lightmatica to Fabric. What you're going to do next is make sure that your Minecraft launcher is closed as well as your Minecraft game. And before we click on the installer to open the Fabric installer, you have to make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.20.4 at least once in your computer, because if you haven't created an instance of that game, then Fabric won't install properly. Once you close the game and the launcher, go ahead and double click on Fabric and that should open the installer file or the installer menu for Fabric. If you didn't get the Fabric menu to open, that might be because you have an outdated Java. So you can see these are jar files and jar files need a Java on your computer to run. For example, I just installed Windows 11 and when I was trying to do this tutorial before, I had an issue and it took me a little bit to figure it out and it's because Windows 11 doesn't come with Java installed. So you have to actually manually install Java. So if you have any issues to open the installer, I'm gonna leave this guide in the description on how to download and install Java 17, as well as this guide on how to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix, like I said, these are jar files. So literally what a jar fix does is fix the jar files. So after you install Java, these files might still not work, but after you run the jar fix, they will work because they will be linked to your new Java installation or your new Java instance. I hope that wasn't too confusing. I'll leave both of these guides in the description 
and let's keep going over here. So let's say that you got the Fabric installer to open. All you have to do now is click on install. And while Fabric is installing on the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're trying to create a server where you can play with your friends, even a server where you could use like Marika as you please, because you'll be the server owner, then Apex Hosting is here for you. They will provide you with everything you can imagine, like creating the server for you, adding mods, mod packs, whatever you want for Java Bedrock, a 24 seven server with 24 seven chat support where you and your friends can enjoy of anything you please. If you use the first link in the description, you get 25% your first order. Now let's check back with the Fabric installation. And as we can see, Fabric has finished installing and you will know that it has finished because it will literally say successfully installed. All you have to do now is click on OK and close the installer and you could even delete the installer file because we don't need it anymore. Let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher and wait for the launcher to open. Once the Minecraft launcher has opened, if you install Fabric properly, you should see it selected automatically. If that's not the case for you, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected, you won't see it. If clicking and double clicking on modded doesn't make Fabric appear, you could always click on new installation and where it says version, just go ahead and find Fabric in here, Fabric Loader, you can name this whatever you want and then click create on the bottom right. Okay, so let's say that you finally got Fabric here to appear or maybe you had it right away when you opened the launcher. How do you add like Marika? All you have to do is head over to installations and find the Fabric instance in here and click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button. Once you click on that folder, you will have a folder with a lot of files open and in here you're looking for a specific folder called mod, M-O-D-S. As you can see, mine is right here. Let's say you didn't have that mods folder and I went ahead and deleted mine. If you don't have the mods folder, you could create it yourself. All you have to do is right click, click new, click folder and type M-O-D-S. It's as simple as that. And then go ahead and open that mods folder. And let's go ahead and drag and drop the mods that we downloaded earlier, the Lightmatica, as well as the mod library that we downloaded for Lightmatica to work right into this folder. So just select those two files, go ahead and drag and drop them. And like I said, you could always read all of this in our guide in the description. Anyways, once you have those files in there, go ahead and close this folder, go back into your Minecraft launcher and now click on fabric play just click play next to fabric you might get this sign in here go ahead and click that you understand and give it a second for it to load after you click on play again i'll see you inside the game okay so now that the game has opened finally it finally open again if you had any issues throughout this you could always read our guides or you could always comment down below what your issue was we know that we're in fabric because it literally says fabric down here but we're still want to go launch a world i'm gonna go ahead and join a world in here whatever world i just have it doesn't really matter and if you have Lightmatica installed, you could always use it on a single player world where you could copy the schematics and paste them. But if you want Lightmatica on something like a server, you will need some type of server permission as well as the matching mod. You will need the server to have the mod installed within the mods folder. So in order to do that, you might need to be a server owner or create the server yourself, which you could do using the first link in the description with Apex Hosting. Anyways, now that we're in the world, if we press M, we get the Lightmatica menu where we have the schematic placement and everything here really to use Lightmatica. I'm pretty sure most of you know how to use Lightmatica. I have no idea how to use it. So yeah, guys, that pretty much concludes the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe because we'll be posting plenty of more tutorials in this channel for Minecraft and many other games. That's been everything. And as always, bye bye.